Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a webhook using Soho CRM. Let's start. Alright, so before we start I would like to explain with this slide how this is going to work. Soho CRM is going to invoke the webhook and we're going to do that using a workflow. And then Zapier is going to catch that webhook and is going to perform an action. Meaning that first a workflow is going to be triggered and that workflow is going to invoke a webhook and that webhook is going to send information to a URL that Zapier is going to catch and then Zapier is going to use that information to perform an action. All right, so let's start with the setup. So I'm going to go to Soho CRM and I am already in my setup page right here. And now I'm going to go to actions and then webhooks. In this page, we're going to click where it says configure webhook. And this is where we're going to create our new webhook. So now we're going to name it. And here where it says URL to notify, we need to use the URL or link that the other app is going to give us. In this case, we're using Zapier, but it could be any app that you're using. So to get that URL, I'm going to go to Zapier. And here I already started creating a new zap and this is the trigger. In this case, the trigger is going to be a webhook, which is right here. So I'm going to click here and then in trigger event, I'm going to click on catch hook. Now continue. And this is the custom URL that Zapier is going to be looking for. And when this URL is invoked, then Zapier is going to know that and it's going to run this app. So I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go back to the setup page and just paste it here. In method, I'm gonna use get, and module, I'm gonna use opportunities. In this company, opportunities and deals are the same. Now I'm gonna add some URL parameters. And for this, I'm only gonna add standard format parameters. So I click here, and we're gonna do, for example, opportunity ID. And the parameter value is gonna be the opportunity ID. And we're gonna add another one that is gonna be the opportunity name and here we're going to select opportunity name and you can keep adding as many values as you need here what you're doing is grabbing information from your deal or opportunity and adding it to the url that you're going to send to zapier so now i'm going to click here where it says refresh url and that's the updated url all right so we already have our url and now we have to go back to zapier and here we're going to click on continue and here we can see that Zapier is waiting for that URL to be invoked. So Zapier is not going to let you continue until you invoke this URL. The easiest way I found to do that is going back here and then copying this URL. And then I'm going to open a new tab and paste it here. And then I'm going to replace the variables with real information. So I have a deal or opportunity open right here. And I'm going to copy the ID and go back here and this is the ID parameter. So I'm gonna paste it. And now I'm gonna go back here and copy the opportunity name and paste it back here. Now I'm gonna press enter. And you can see here that the status was success, meaning that this URL worked. Now I'm gonna go back to Zapier and click on test trigger. And Zapier found the request and the information has been transferred in that URL. You can see here the opportunity ID and the opportunity name. Now that the trigger is ready, you can continue setting up this app. I'm not going to show how to do it in this video, but you can check my other videos in this channel so you can learn how to use Zapier. All right, the last thing to do is going back to the setup page here and clicking on save. And now the webhook is ready and we're going to add it to a workflow. So click here where it says workflow rules. And then I have one ready. Is this one it's called create task and we're going to add an action here and it's going to be webhook and we're going to find the one that we just created it's this one right here notification and click in associate meaning that every time this workflow is triggered then one of the actions is going to be to use that webhook that is going to trigger the zap like i said you can use any other application that has webhook capabilities if you don't know how to set up a workflow, please check out the other videos about Soho CRM that I have on this channel. All right, finally, we're gonna click on save. 
And that's it. We just created a webhook and assigned it to a workflow. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I also have other videos about Soho CRM and Zapier on this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.